check it in with y'all. Um, you are OTR with me. Mm -hmm. Now you get to go home every day. You get to be local. OTR versus local. I don't even think it's a versus. They shouldn't even be in the same category. Like, they shouldn't even compete with each other because they're drastically in two different classes. Like, you have to have two different mindsets. It's right. two different extremities. It um, is a pay cut. It is two different pay. It's two different pays. Yeah. Pay well, with the, with, with, the, with the pay cut, are you still happy with the, even though the pay cut? Yeah, I I, <laughs> I get I now fully understand the term uh, money doesn't bring you happiness because we're uh, chilling way. Yeah, too I hard. didn't I didn't even realize it was a pay cut. If I that realize, mean, I well, I mean, like what I mean by I didn't realize it was kind of like we were already the beautiful thing about trucking. It made us minimal. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of things that. As far as routinely the items we require, we didn't we learned to deal without, right, and stuff. So transitioning into local life or home life every day um, wasn't that bad, um, but I being mean, able to wash your booty meat every day, yeah, it's just food. yeah. I don't I don't even look at the money because the money just go where it needs to go if that makes right. sense like it, we live it, so far under our means yeah so it's like the money goes into our investments goes into our different uh things we have going on goes into our utilities our you know us to live so now we just have so much time to explore hobbies and right. you know explore stuff um game oh i love gaming we're gaming on twitch yeah <laughs> <laughs> Go follow the Twitch. That's where all the lives are, by the way. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So OTR yeah. had OTR is a great precursor. It's for younger people. Yeah. To you're 21. I just don't see why you didn't OTR for at least two years, yeah. just to just to see the country and know where you want to live. Because we didn't go back to where we were from. We no. we knew the West was the best. That was like not an option. Not even <laughs> interesting. No. And now that we're here, the problems that the West thinks it has, they're really not wrong. <laughs> Their biggest thing, they harp on the homeless. And yeah. it's like, listen, chill out. Yeah. Let them do their drugs. It's like reliving 90s and early 2000 problems over right. here now. It's, it has migrated. They're behind the time. So the stuff that yeah. they're talking about, we're like... We, they're going through the crack epidemic. Yeah. <laughs> but their drug doesn't even get them hyper. They just pass out. Yeah. They become, so they become like a uh, zombie break dancers, <laughs> right? And we just we go to any place part of town we want to go to. We yeah. eat at nice cafes. We 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 chill. Jobs are good. You yeah. know, like I said, dope. That we're both in decently, uh, both gainfully employed with benefits. Yeah, you can't freaking. It's like the worry is so gone. Yeah, and people say, "Well, it's less money, but it's less worry." Yeah. And to me, I get to a point. First of all, you have to be able to live under your means to do this because it is a pay cut. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, if you're. Um, In the beginning. I, I think it will be the same as a person that was established in a previous career right. going into trucking. Right. You know, there is going to be a pay difference initially, meaning your money uh, yearly, your annual salary will be significantly different. From mm -hmm. someone that did ten years in a in a different industry, so, right. but again, the the pros and cons is that you take a pay cut in OTR and you take a break from society, and so now you have it where you're not paying these egregious bills. You know, you're able to stack quicker, la uh, larger amounts, and then you know reassess if you want to go to uh, whatever next level in trucking, whether it's fleet ownership or local personally i agree with you otr two years is it's enough time for you to mentally uh reprogram yourself make the decision of what matters most to you right take a big chunk of money as a down payment to whatever lifestyle you're interested in so if it's sex in the city downtown life if you don't have kids tolling array or <laughs> paying your whole lease off 
the whole year the whole year you know so things like that um it gives you that affordability to make those type of choices but and and the biggest thing to coming home you live a great deal of your life online when you're otr here i just have no reason to be online yeah. like when i'm not doing this i don't i'm not online at all i'm not checking social media yeah. i'm just enjoying my present life i'm just chilling yeah and it's really necessary to not be so uh far gone in hermit land right. <laughs> if i will say because the reintegration of getting back into society right was definitely hard. I mean, it was like to the point where someone would say, hey, we're like, why the hell are you so chipper? Like, Good day. What the hell is so good about it? <laughs> you know, so now uh, reintegrating, going to community events. Right. Um, you going know, just interacting with people. Farmer's Market, yeah. Botanical Gardens, <laughs> where we have baskets as we antique. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's on my like, ah, nah, nah, nah. we're just like, oh, you want to go look at the flowers bloom today? <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Go hay rides. All type of stuff. Hay rides. Pet donkeys and shit. <laughs> like, we just do what we want to do. And it's so far out of the way that it's like, you yeah. know, we're in a place that people are just not going to move to. Yeah. I don't want to move. Because at the end of the day, if you are not out of mess, it is entirely boring. Yeah, and but, boring is is beautiful. Oh, it's everything. <laughs> Boho chic. Boho chic. Like I'm. We're I've just, been teaching them new words, guys. I definitely gave her that word. No, I did. I definitely gave her that word. <laughs> but no, just 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 chilling, and you know, my biggest thing was the slowdown. Yeah. Now I'm at a job where it's like, you know, you legit don't work over seven hours, eight hours. Yeah. So I'm loving that. It's like. You know, I'm expecting a 14-hour day, and they're like, who the heck works a 14-hour day? Well, the thing that I most, um, and this is definitely for the ladies, the routine, the getting up, having your coffee, playing your music, stretching, you know, putting, uh, you know, cleaning around the house, a little light dusting, and watching your show. It was, I didn't realize how much I missed it, but that was because, again, at the time, you know, when it's time to survive, you get in survival mode. And then once you're out of the muck, once you're out the mud, you again, you evolve. So as people, we, um, well, today's society, they have this mentality that they have to stay a certain way for mm -hmm. a long period of time. And you don't, you evolve. If the environment changed, you change. Mm -hmm. So with, you know, local, being local, I had to take away the OTR mm -hmm. speed, you know, the fastness of the things. rushing. Yeah, because we used to go... Out there and eat quick. Right. Remember that? Done. We done what do we do now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like there was a lot of things, a lot of you know um, habits that we formed from OTR that we had to cut. cut. Even at, at your job, yeah. Your job is like, why are you rushing? Yeah, like they're like, calm down, yeah. man. Chill. <laughs> well, what do I do now? Just relax. I just relax at work. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, it was. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, I'm, I. And the benefits packages. Oh, we can't. Oh, my. Oh, that's my a different video. That's a totally different video. <laughs> it's like, I get paid if I emotionally feel bad and don't feel like going to work. Yeah. Like, I get a, a payment for that. Like, yeah. emotional pay. Like, right. I get, I, it, there's like two pages of pays. Yeah. That I don't have to worry about none of that. I'm not worrying about. Yeah, like our benefits yeah. integrate into wellness as well. Right, so wellness like benefits. Your 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 um your life insurances, your disabilities that pregnancy, pregnancy. Oh yeah, all type of stuff. And then there's like other things you can do. Oh, I can't drive the truck right now. No, that's no problem. Come in and just shuttle the students. Like yeah. it's like it's so much different. Yeah, and we you can't be fired that easily. True. Yeah. Yeah. But why would you be fired when everybody's so pleasant? Yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely something that you'll get there. You know, if you're a person that, to me, I took OTR as a way out of a bad situation or becoming a bad situation. I wanted to detox. I wanted to, you know, I just really wanted to get the bag. I didn't want the 
nuances of getting a bad meaning. Oh, I'm a boss check. You know, I just wanted to physically get money. <laughs> and Right, without the actual. Yeah, without the actual needing to spend the money to look the part to get the money. Yeah, and that's a dope thing about being somewhere that isn't quote unquote hip. Yeah. Is that, you know, we crocs and sweat it 90% yeah. of the time. Yeah. 90% of the times we crocs and sweat it and no one's worrying about you because the people are retired near us. Yeah. They got they old lady. You got your old lady. Everybody's chilling. Money is of no object. Yeah. Uh, Cause everything's paid already. Everything's good. I'm not worrying about money. I'm not worrying about taxes. I'm not worrying about insurance. I'm not worrying about retirement. It just takes 10 worries off of you. Yeah. And a person will say, well, you know, you should have stuck with what made you unhappy. And that makes no sense to me. I just, yeah. my thing is you do it and clean my credit, OTR, clean my credit. It, it up my business stuff, it up different things. It got it to the point where I could save enough to come home and say I could do three years rent paid. And that's what's it that was important for me to figure out how to reprogram myself and live happier. You drop weight. Your yeah. cholesterol goes down, your, your your heart rate goes down because the simple stress level of what you do is way down. Yeah. It's way down. My stress level of my job is maybe 10, 15 percent. And in trucking, it, there's moments where it's 100 percent and it evens at 40 percent. So it's like less stress. I'm chilling. You know, the activities to do nearby are more active. Yeah. And some days when we feel lazy. We just play our freaking game. Like, oh, she's yeah, in the living room, I'm in the room, we're both in the game. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Legit. And we play that on Twitch. Yeah. So, so Twitch burning mouse. We're going to go on there tonight and, and chop it up for sure, but... Exactly. And the people who really like us are there. Yeah. I actually like that my lives aren't as big. Mm. On Twitch, it's like a private room where we just be on there chilling, everything's... There's no... There's it's definitely a community. It's really dope conversations. We dope really combos. get serious into zombies. Yeah, into the video like, game. The video yeah. game is serious. It's not a joke. <laughs> Duck, man. Like Duck! we even go into Discord and strategize yes, on yes. Discord. Yes, yes. This time, we got to go straight for the yeah. zombies. We got to stop lollygagging. <laughs> Rich, get it together. Like, we're, you know, we're over here freaking criticizing each other yeah. about their technique. We got, uh, we've helped to kill. Kill now knows how to right. you know, strategize better. He's not hitting the nuke so quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's J my bad. That's my bad. J33 come through. Yeah, he come through. Like, we it's have people just... that just come through that we've never even heard their voice and they'll see us and say, yo, you know, let's collaborate and do a joinable game. But uh, I mean, I think the thing I've taken overall is that uh, I used to, I don't know if you ever heard the saying, but you know, all good things come to an end. Right. right. And I used to look at that as so meek and bleak. It was, it sounded negative, but the truth is it's actually a positive thing because then it should push you to maximize that good time. Right. So now, like I said, with OTR, OTR was a good thing for what it was uh, intended for was to get money and it came to an end. And now the next step is this is a great thing. And I know one day, you know, it may come to an end as far as, I mean, I hope I ain't leaving here now. Yeah. <laughs> the only end for me is in the ground. That's so. my retirement angle. Yeah, right. Like, That's the end for me. But like, I'm on the mountaintop. Yeah, There's no way I'm coming down to deal with y'all. It gives me the perfect excuse to maximize it and have fun, smile more, um, be and, a human being about it. And we live in a place where nobody, nobody lives. Yeah. I actually like the fact that my friends are virtual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're yeah. not like coming over my house. Well, except for uh, King, King is probably. Yeah, King's gonna probably gonna show up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he ain't Shout gonna, out to King. Right, right, he ain't gonna allow you to just. Yeah, like, I want to <laughs> see what you're doing out there because you're smiling I'm, way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to smile too. I feel like King. Akil's definitely probably Akil, gonna show up. Rich. Rich. Phil. Phil. And that's about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah. But other than that, oh, we gotta hang out with you. Y'all, y'all did a thing, and I, I had to, I had to worry. <laughs> I know he's probably like, dude, when I come through, we need to all have dinner. Right, right. Like we'll that. catch you. We'll catch you. Yeah, for it. sure. If he has more time, he's, you know, yeah. he's OTR, so he's living the rush life. Yeah. And I'm just kind of just breezing up there. What's up, brother? Yeah, like yeah. I'm just living too. And that's why I say the the arguments get down to a zero because I'm living way too good. To spit in the face of God, lack of a better word, yeah. With negativity, because 
My life is awesome. Yeah. I'm having a ball. Yeah, no one's dumbing down their blessings over here. And I'm not about to do that. So it's like a person will come to me and say, well, I'm leasing and I'm seeing more money than you. And I'm going to, I'm the type of person where I'm, I'm not, you are. Yeah. But I'm chilling. Like you're, you, I've done that already. Have fun with that. Clean your credit up, save your money so you can come home like me and all that stuff. But to think that's something that's just going to be sustainable for 20 years and you not have a terminal disease afterwards, it's ridiculous. Dude, it's, it's just not true. Well, when I see people still compare uh, their, I guess, their um, accomplishments to yours, I take it as a, um, a, a flattery. I, you know what I mean? Because it's like... The fact you have to yeah, compare. Yeah, because you have been transparent in your growth. You have moved on from that part of your life as far as trucking. And for them to still use what you did back then, meaning accolades that you have on the wall, right? It's like these accomplishments. I'm going to beat what TV did. Yeah, and it's just like, wow. Like, dude, it's like... been eight years. Y'all still trying to beat that joint. <laughs> Uh, and my thing is, cool. the crown is yours. Take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please yeah. take it so you can kindly put it down quickly and be like, "Whoa, <laughs> I don't want that." Yeah, I didn't think you did. <laughs> Have fun with that, because I live a, like I say, I don't get money with these people. Yeah. I don't work the same industry as these people. Yeah. I don't live in the same side of the country as these people. So there's Casper the friendly ghost to me. I, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm honestly in a place where I say I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't want to know what's going on. Yeah, I fell back heavy. Uh, yeah, just heavy fall like, baggage. When I started macrame and knitting, that was a wrap. That was a wrap. <laughs> it was right, like... right. The, 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 the dreams of the air cooker. Like, yeah. <laughs> we have different things we're excited about. Like, you know what? Throw a quiche in there. Yeah. See what happens. I'm it came out perfect, my boy. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, uh, it's, you know, it's bad when people say they miss you. Right. <laughs> right. Miss you, man. Where you been, bro? <laughs> like, too far. Where you been? We miss you. I'm like, I'm chilling. Chilling. Laying up. You know, it's, it's, we don't have those issues because it's muffin day. Like, we don't know what y'all are going through because it is legit muffin day. Like, yes. And we have muffin areas. I'm yeah. going to go get a pumpkin loaf muffin. I, I don't have those freaking issues. We got like four spots, y'all, that is like we're religious. They know us. Right. Like, hey, y'all, what's going on? Hey. And like, if one coming out, the, hey, where is y'all? Where is y'all? Watch out. You're a regular seat? Yeah. <laughs> Double man latte with a scotch of nutmeg. Thank you so much, Kelly. Yeah, no. We're, Everything's um, love. It's another yeah. place here where your race isn't that important. Yeah. I, well, th this is what I will say. I We are unapologetically black, but it's not forceful. It's like we are who we are. We have our locks. You know, our skin is popping, oh, melanin, you know, all mm -hmm. but it's something where it's, um, everyone is in existence. It's a happy coexistence here. There is no one here that you need to impress. Nope. Uh, hell, you, even if you went to a job interview, you barely got to put on business clothes. I didn't put on a business Yeah, clothes. it's just like I everyone here is, is under the same guys uh get your money get your go money home. go home and enjoy the environment which is nature and right and all the party scenes we couldn't even tell you where those were i mean the party scenes here are contained meaning you would just go to that area. district yeah because you know that that's there but it's not oversaturated there is no liquor stores all around or you yeah, know, and we're actually we're saving more money as we're making less yeah that's cool. that's why i said i didn't realize I didn't realize the pay cut because nothing changed. Right, our lifestyle. There was didn't no change. like, oh, we can't afford it. It was kind of like, you know, like I said, the the money split it split differently, and it goes where it needs to go. Um, but the thing I didn't, I really didn't honestly notice the pay cut because we don't spend as much, which was weird because we were spending more on the room. Yeah, I mean, hotels, eating, hotels, like, activities, Toro, yeah. uh, cell phones, oh, bills, yeah, yeah. It was, rental cars, yeah, because truck was, breaking down. Yeah, it was a lot of money. We were making a lot of money, but they were taking it out. It was hemorrhaging. As uh, fast as you were making as it. As fast as you were making it. And here, now it's like, the stuff that we're into doesn't really require money. No, I mean, if we're not taking and, pictures, we're yeah. hiking or... Or we're on the game. We're on the we, game, yeah. Which you pay for once. And I just went, like me being local now, I just love coming home and cooking. Man, I made a... Y'all gotta listen. Y'all better get an air fryer. How they gonna know if you ain't made a video? I uh, know. I'm, I'm, the reason why... I'm just loving life right now. Like, I just... 
I'll, I'll get back, you know, I was looking at all the old videos, um, I made 57 videos on my YouTube, um, that were vlog styles and stuff like that, and, and the cooking stuff, and, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back into it, but I gotta tell you guys, I mean, it's hard to do it. It's hard because I, I'm at a level of content, and... It's just not a part and of my you, day. You, 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 yeah, <laughs> screw going online. It ain't part of yeah, my day. Just not part not of to my mention, day right you have to protect your mental wellness. Yeah. You have to protect your contentment. Like I'm content to the point where you just can't pull me into that. I don't know what's going on. I, I, it, whatever's going on, I can't be offended because I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And if I do know what's going on here, I don't know what happened six, seven times before. So it's just, and I don't respond to any of my social media. So the, the sending me videos of stuff, which is in my inbox, I don't read it. Yeah. Well, I used to always uh, say if some, if someone tells me something that was said about me, I'll say, well, listen, they told you, you know what I mean? Or you, you're privy of it. I'm not. So, you know, you keep that, keep that secret that was told to you. Right. Really, you, you know what I mean? Keep, not even that. I just, I don't check it. So yeah. I'm sure it's there, but you'll just realize that we speak less. Yeah. Because what you, the subject you're talking about is beneath me. I don't, I don't, I don't get in those conversations. These people do not live near my building. They don't live on the floor of my building. Yeah. They don't, I don't have, they're not a part of the internet is the internet. Yeah. That isn't in my neighborhood, bro. I don't. So if a person's mad in Cincinnati, what does it matter to me? <laughs> I'm in Cincinnati and I feel you, this. You then have you, a, you have an, <laughs> well, most of these fools are. A in Cincinnati and Atlanta. Like, I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. I don't care. As I wonder if anyone could let me know in the comment section if you've ever heard TV say Lamont from Cincinnati. Like, <laughs> I just want you to know Lamont is imaginary. Yeah. There is no <laughs> Lamont. Yeah, if you want to see Lamont, he uh, he's in the, the horror movie uh, like, The Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> and he carries a switchblade. And you got to watch out because he'll cut you. Yeah, he'll like, cut he's you the only monster I've seen carrying a switchblade. Right. It was like a pearl handle and everything. Everybody picked fantasy stuff. Yeah. And he was like, <laughs> give me that switchblade. Because <laughs> if she act up, I'm going to cut him. And spoiler alert, the reason why we laugh at this is because he lost the switchblade in the movie and retrieved it And back. came back. Came back together. Screw the plot. He didn't bring another weapon with no. him. <laughs> he came empty. I'm hand. going to get my joint back, bro. <laughs> well, I just carried it. Nah, 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 bro. I need my joint back, bro. I bet you I get my joint <laughs> back. I bet you I get my joint I back. I, I bet she's going to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> he got his joint back and went into the hole too like mm, not what i came for so other thing is movies oh Ooh, we've been movie watching i know just oh i mean laying around balls and we boobs have a out. drawer nothing but popcorn nothing like, the whole just, drawer like i'm, I'm not the legit just... get a picture of it and it is basically 75 packets <laughs> of popcorn in there so much and it's so hooked away we forget it's there yeah 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 until I randomly open it and be like, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Butter comes out of it. Like, <laughs> oh, I got popcorn. Yeah. Uh, another thing, too, is renouncing uh, uh, materialism stuff. Yeah, yeah. We are going deeper and deeper into our, um, into our uh, 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 minimalism. Yeah. To the point where we're trying to get, like, extreme. Yeah, I mean, it's like I'm at the point where it's like, if it works, great. Like... If it's not falling apart, and even if it was, I'm at the point where I'm like, okay. I will it, fix it. Yeah, it's like, should I get it fixed? You know, where can I get it? You know, can I get this button sewn back on? Can someone? Yeah, because we had the opportunity to go get another car. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't do it. Um, we had an opportunity to turn this one in. We didn't do it. Yeah. You guys are not going to believe. I went, I'm fully scootered now. Like... Yeah, because I legit had the car there. It was approved. Yeah. I took her to the dealership, and she didn't want it. Yeah, and then he was like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna." See. He's like, "You, if you're uh, going to commit to this, then I want to see you get on the scooter." I have, I, I get on there and go. Ride your motorcycle mm -hmm. to work, and uh, if that if you can do that through the winter. And he's like to the point where he's like slightly jealous. He's like, "Damn, like you're a real a one." Like, because I'm I'm putting <laughs> gas in the truck, and you're like, I put three fifty in, <laughs> and I'm like one hundred and ten dollars, eighty nine dollars. Like, God. <laughs> I'm about to pop her tires. And <laughs> look like you got an Uber. <laughs> so I got to get like real like gear. Oh, and yeah. Stuff, so I'm gonna and it's one of the things you can do when you're local. You can put in, you have a place to put stuff. You have a garage to put stuff yeah. in. You know, you, you, you're you a gated up community. So you don't have to worry about none of that type of crap. 
Plus, I really, I do like the ride, meaning like I'll go to work. Like I'm not far from my job at all. It's like probably like an eight to 10 minute ride. But I leave like a half an hour just so I can just cruise cruise around and run over potholes you don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> Off road. <laughs> I say overland every time. Overland. Oh, overland. <laughs> <laughs> like I would say melee. 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 <laughs> so, no, I've really been enjoying the scooter. I didn't think I would take to it. But I mean, it is, so, it feels so good. You don't need tags. Oh, you don't need tags. The cops just wave at me. Hey. I'm like, You're having what? more fun than me. Yeah. Remember that cop did that? Yeah. Like, Let's race. And we was like, it wouldn't be fair because we're going to enjoy this. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to enjoy this more than and you. And she was sitting there like, oh, I hate my life. <laughs> I'm going home and getting this Subaru. Like yeah. That. He probably went home. Dear, I, I want know. a scooter. I know, right? Completely <laughs> changed her, out her outlook on it. Like, yeah. So it's, it's just mostly chill. It's mostly very down to earth. Yeah. I don't have... Um, like I said, I don't do friends close by. All my friends are virtual. I don't want you in where I live. I don't want you to come to my house. I don't have no one in my house. I don't have any of those. The whole thing is what makes your life more simple, local. It's yeah. what I'm into. You know, we still haven't got rid of all the apps yet, but we're going to get rid of all the apps. Yeah. Um, and just and just basically go from there. Yeah. One step in. I mean, like I said, there's the habits for both CR still rain true um we don't like a lot of space yeah we don't need a bunch of space you know, so we're usually always we're huddled together a, yeah we're thinking of even downsizing the apartment we have that's near penthouse it's like we yeah. really don't need all this space we need to go smaller than this yeah because like Cause I we're love, wasting it i love just how cozy i love the cozy feel of it um, and we're like you know we could actually just have that room gone yeah yeah but it's because again like we're looking at it as one we don't entertain two now don't get me wrong guys our whole situation is about comfort i'm talking about big cozy huge pillows candles you know lights and so it's like it's this beautiful boho den you know just cool it's, loungy it's built thing. around our hobbies but it's just enough for us like you know what i mean and that's where we were like mm, maybe it's go too smaller. much need. yeah you know, and it's like, once you go smaller, you can go smaller than that. Yeah. It's like, really, you work, you're only coming home to watch TV and go to sleep. Yeah. You know, I'll play the game on Twitch, by the way. On the Twitch, <laughs> Twitch, burning miles. Uh, I'll play the game online in the afternoons. Yeah. And after that, it's like a little Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I'm passed out. Yeah. Because I think the next, like, the only thing, like, considering will be, um, having something that is um i wanted to have something like uh, a garden or a backyard or something like that yeah, that you're saying you're going to take care of yeah well you know i'm not partaking of that at all and we're also thinking about a dog i've seen him well up a she couple times is thinking about a dog he has guys when i say he's seen a couple dogs and i've seen his heart literally melt like he was like but I'm telling you, I'm not helping you with that at all. Bro. No, I'll do be Courtney part two. I'm not about to do it, bro. Courtney part two. All right. Just letting you know before you do it. I'll <laughs> pet it and all that. Bro. <laughs> I'm not taking it out. But I you, ain't cleaning up after But you know what's it. funny about that? Have you ever seen on like YouTube or TikTok where the uh, the video will start all like dad said he didn't want that pet. And then all of a sudden he's like petting it <laughs> and putting it in cute little clothes oh, and taking it everywhere. <laughs> Like, oh, you know he doesn't need that, right? Yeah. You know he doesn't need that. <laughs> but get, just get, give him to me. Give him to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, he said it was a kitten. Like, it was like, Dad said I couldn't have this kitten. Here he is right now. The kid's like sitting on his shoulder. Like, right. Just chill a little. But that's how pets know. Pets know, oh, you don't want all this precious love for me? Right. I'm just sitting here laughing. It's cool. All right. it doesn't get in the way of my uh, what it's I do. Not, it's just going to sit with you in the gaming chair. I'm just letting you know. I don't want to hear that. Did you take the dog out? I'm going to tell you, no. I didn't do that because I told you not to do it. You did it anyway, so he pooped on your couch. Ah, you don't you. Uh, and I'm like, good well. boy. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in all that. <laughs> now, my thing, my whole thing about life now is just streamlined. Yeah, I yeah. know where I'm supposed to be. I know where I'm going every day. And I know I'm going home every night. Yeah. Other than that, everything else is all forgiven. Live your life and leave me alone. 
you leave me alone, we I as a walking map, but man, love life and stay away. <laughs> Jeez Louise, please just stay, stay away. away. I Don't want... take this smile as an invitation. No, to come over. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm ready to be cool. No, that means I'm happy you're not around. <laughs> Go away. Go that way. Go that way. And live the dream. Listen, people, this is just how we feel about us going to local. Yeah. Just straight to the point, tug and cheek. Yep. No fluff, no buff. Don't do drugs. And remember, all the lives are on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Burning miles. The link will be under the video. Do not do drugs. If you're new to the channel, sub. This is all about good vibes, baby. Oh, yeah. Chicken, vibes. chicken wings, butt naked on the couch, no draws. That's what it's all about. <laughs> if you ain't doing that, don't. <laughs> Talk to me, none of that. That's how they do. That's how they do. You. <laughs> but you know that's how you do. Though. That's why I ain't mad at nobody. I just want to be left alone. Leave me alone, man. You can make a video to respond. I ain't gonna see it. <laughs> I'm be real. Don't even waste your your, your data. They ain't gonna come up in the. I don't know about that. <laughs> I didn't restructure my algorithm. I done took the apps out the phone. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Don't want to know what's going on. Be happy. Love your life. And you I bid you adieu.